hand part. Yep. Drag through, dry it, reload it. They're still he- out there. Like, <laughs> and, and then, and then like I, something slipped out of my hand, and the ah, <laughs> uh, it's so frustrating to tell this story because I remember it like it was yesterday. So I go out, and it's a, like the now they have spooked. Right. So the deer are out there now, and it's a whole bachelor group of them. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, 175 yards. Right. I'm, I'm pretty confident in that muzzleloader shot. Right. And so I take my aim. Missed. <laughs> Jeez. Missed. All that work. After all that work, after firing like six oh. primer shots. Hey, guys, welcome in NASGW 2021. Today is the last day. We're only going until noon. Um, this is going to be our last broadcast. But yes. we wanted to kind of recap it. Yeah. Um, but before we get to that, I'm going to let you in on who this show is sponsored by because this is kind of a special edition. But Gun Talk Live is brought to you by Benelli, Dominate the Moments, and Keltec. Okay, Keltec, everybody knows the KSG, right? Yeah, yeah. You know the KSG. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of fun to shoot. And when that came out, I think it was one of the uh, bigger launches that Keltec had had in a while. Yep. Um, but it's got a dual tube magazines, holds six three inch shells. Um, in each tube, plus one in the chamber. So you're Four. looking seven, two yep. and three quarter inch shells. Um, manual safety selector allow, or manual selector. So you yeah. can select the tubes. Yep. So easy to do there. Downward shell ejection system makes the KSG truly ambidextrous yes. completely. So for those odd people who are the left handed shooters like Ryan. I was going to say, so in case Ryan is ever in an issue with either one of us, yeah, we can let Ryan one take over. Like, here, you can shoot this now because it's ambidextrous. Um, and it's legal in all 50 states. Which is awesome. That's cool. So go check them out at keltechweapons.com and check out your KSG there. Also, high vis And actually, from our stage up here, we can actually see the high vis booth. And guess who's in the high vis booth today, this week? Who's that? Lanny and Tracy Barnes. Olympians. Oh, yeah. yes. So they're over there, the light wave H3 comp sight bead and plain barrel bead replacement sights for shotguns. So I just installed one of these, and Ryan, who is not here as As you evidence, can tell, hello. This is Matt Johnson of Gun Talk <laughs> Media. Um, he's not here, but I installed one on his shotgun, one of the plain barrel oh, yeah. shotgun sights just for his hunt in South Dakota right now. So nice. he's out there hunting. And using high vis, so well, you got his last text right. It clearly is working for him. Oh, it's working he, beautifully. Like he slaughtered. Put, he put a bunch down. I think yesterday, seventy six yesterday for the whole group. For the whole group, not yeah. just him. No, no, no. Like yeah. it was, it was a lot. But for worse. Ryan to be pretty happy with how he shot and put things down, yeah, it it, it, must it works. Have, must have been good, right? So, yep. so anyway, highvizsites dot com. Go check them out. Also, Ruger, the Max Nine. We all know that That's one. Micro size, compact. Yeah. Um, but striker fire gun, and it holds 12 plus 1. So in a Ruger Max 9, you're getting 12 plus 1 out of an easily carryable gun. It's crazy what they're able to do with these with those guns these Is days. Is it not? The, uh, the capacity they're getting in them. Yeah. It's I mean, it's unbelievable how how efficient they're making our magazines and how easy they're – how difficult they're making our lives. Yes. Yeah, that's a better way to put it. They're making our lives it, difficult because how do you choose? Because they all run reliably re- in the rear – Ruger yeah. Max 9 is no different, no. Um, but it is available in actually three different models. And I know, like, some people may not know that, but they offer one that's a manual safety, a state-compliant one for yep. those that, you know, have issues. Yep. California. West Coast. Um, yeah. And then uh, a pro model, which is, oh, yeah. you know, optics ready. Right. So right, right. get your red dot up there. Get after it. And Springfield Armory, the new Ooh, SA-35. SA-35. I mean, it looks the part and it shoots the part, right? Of a high power. Yeah, you guys I mean, are shot. I haven't we, had a chance yet. You haven't? I haven't yet. Have you got to at least hold it, please? I, I did. Cause, I, yep, I've held it. Okay. It is, oh, it's great. It's it feels great. it feels good in the hand. I think the um, the wood grips that they've got on it is actually immaculate. Um, all the texturing in the right places, yeah. and from the original high power, which was thirteen plus one, they've done us two better, and they're going fifteen, 15. plus one. So. 16 rounds, so we're all good there. Right, right. Uh, but And it's made here in the USA, springfield-armory.com. And Prize of Palooza. Oh, so many good things. Oh, it's like the last great. day. 
to enter. Today? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Today's yeah, the last day to enter, so you've got to go enter. Yep. So what do you think they get? Well, it's they, a lot. There's, what, six different packages available? Six multiple prize packages. They got Guntalk.com slash win to go enter. Yep. Uh, uh, but a multitude of lockdown products. Lockdown products, uh, pucks, yeah. gun, gun safe lights, Axle GX or GS Extreme. GS Extreme. Your um, Pyramid Air. Pyramid Air is in there. That's and they and they really stepped up with this one. They got a number of little Pyramid Air oh, yeah. packages fully with, with all the ammo that goes with it. Okay. You know, so it, that's the cool So part that's is. the important part is right. that you get all the ammo, you get everything ready to go out and practice. Yep. And and these are guns like the uh don't we have a SIG in there? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So there is. anyway. So you guys go enter that, guntalk.com slash win. win. So win win. Okay, the NHGW show, you know about it. Yeah, the it's National Association of Sporting Goods Wholesalers. That's yes. the last time I'm going to say it. <laughs> it's a mouthful, <laughs> but it's it's always been the early show leading for 22. Yes. And now I sit on the revenue and partnership side of the business, and it's the one show I really enjoy going to because it's so casual. It's truly in industry. Look how insiders. he's dressed. Look yeah. how I'm dressed. Like so. It, <laughs> It's I'm nice I'm, to be I'm, like that. <laughs> right. I'm headed out today, so it's like I'm a little more casual than normal. But it's truly an inside the industry show because yes. this is a truly buying show. So you get wholesalers, your dealers, and distributors are here. But what's nice about it is being able to go around and actually talk about what's been going on the last 18 months for these yeah. guys. And are they seeing the light at the end of the tunnel? But to see that there is still a lot of new product coming out. Yeah. They're not just, hey, we're trying to fill orders. We're coming out with new stuff. But – Everyone, you can tell there's just a giddiness so, at this show. So I have a question. Is there a light at the end of the tunnel on the ammunition side? Because that's that, what everybody that, wants to know. That, everybody that, wants to know, are ammo prices going down, and when is it all going to be back available? Prices will not come down anytime soon. That light is going to be 2023 most likely. Okay. Um, and the other thing I think a lot of people need to understand is, I mean, there's about eight different popular categories out there of, like, handgun loads and right. like AR platform type loads. That, so your hunting loads. I'm sorry, guys. Your centerfire rifle not going to be real popular. You right should have bought them last. You should like a couple of years ago. Right. Um, your shotgun shells are coming around. Yeah. You're seeing quite a bit of those out there, um, just because that's a whole different. And the reason for the hunting side is simply because I learned at this show it takes about a day to turn over some of these machines yeah. to go from like a nine mil to a two seventy or whatever else you know yeah. a typical hunting load. And they just don't have that time because downtime is wasted money. Right. And so it's not well, that they don't want to make it. It's just they don't have the time right. to make it. And it's people not being able to, you know, get product. Well, and yeah. They, they want to keep – and it, what I hear a lot of around here is you know, we want to make our customers happy. Yes. We hate that you cannot get the ammo. Right, right. Like they don't – they're not back there storing it away. No. Um they have to. Fi- they do have to fulfill government contracts and stuff. They've always filled those. Ob- right, right, obviously. But, Come on. So, so the other thing, though, I have no heard light. from two people, too, is that it's also a workforce issue. There's only, I mean. <laughs> that's a whole thing. Everyone here has every, said that. And that crosses every OEM out there. Yeah. Like, it's just a workforce issue, too. It's I mean, crazy. So it's, like, it's just multiple layers. What the all comes down to is it's so, multiple layers that are causing these. So things. what you're saying is here's an open call for people looking to get into the firearms industry. If you yes. want to work, there are jobs at all these over companies where you can work at all over the country all over kinds of jobs both yeah so there's everything um so light the tunnel 2023 okay for the ammo side matt johnson just said it he called it 2023 (laughs) if it's not email you're gonna be on this table email (laughs) strung out kj (laughs) at at gun talk and read him the right (laughs) don't do that (laughs) uh no we actually had a chance to sit down with ryan donahue yeah um so he's with american outdoor brands yep um, great companies like Crimson Trace and Lockdown and Wheeler, Wheeler and Tipton, Tipton and, and, and Frankfurt Arsenal. And Bog and Hunting is in that Bog, group, too. Yep. yep. So we had a chance to sit down with him yesterday because he came up, and I've heard about this product coming down the pipeline forever. Um, this is the f- first time I really kind of got my hands on the finished product. And um, so today, the comments, if you're up this early watching us, <laughs> one, I hope the coffee's hot. Yes. Two, we're going to treat you guys to today's giveaway is going to be a pair of these. Um, and I think Michael's ready to cue the video up. The fat Check sticks? Out. Yeah. You totally blew it. I set you I up. 
No, I was going <laughs> to let the video tell the story. Ah, This is why we can't have nice things. This is exactly it. Rookie. This, rookie. Is, this, this is why I, I, I should have prepped him for this. But, no, go ahead check out this video on the Wheeler Fat Sticks. Hey, welcome in, guys. Here is a special product from Wheeler. We're here with Ryan Donahue. What's in this little case? Because this is going to be massive. It's going to be awesome. So you're, I'm going to let you open it up on camera and show everybody what's in the case. But No, we were going to hold it and tell everybody what it is, and you have to do your best to describe what it is, and they get something in their mind, and then we open it up and then reveal it. Okay, ready? I'm going to yes. do it real quick. Okay. So Wheeler, right, they've had a product that has been historic, right? Yes. Monumental. Which is? The Fat Ranch, right? Yes. Almost everybody's got one, putting on guns, different things around the house. So these are fat sticks. Ooh, perfect. That's a great name. There you go. The so fat what, sticks. What do they do? They are just, the they, thing. They're just sticks that are <laughs> fat and round. They're just, they're just they're fat sticks. <laughs> um, this, this is the tool that you want on your bench. Yep. Also, we put it in the cool case, put it in your range bag. Well, it's slim line. What I like about it, there's some uh, molly straps back here, too. Yep. So you can actually, like, so a backpack. Sure. Easily fits in there. Yep. But do we want to do the reveal? Yeah, do so it. What's in here? So Fast I know a th sticks. I know a thing or two about scopes. <laughs> yes, you do. Just a couple of things. I mean, S Crimson Trace is kind of a big thing. Kind of a thing. Yeah. But um, if you're going to mount a scope, right, you want to make yeah. sure that you torque it down properly. So Wheeler for years and years and years, really, you know, the level, level, level system, all the different products yes. from Wheeler. So this is something that is going to help you handheld torque everything down with the torque limiters, all the different sets right in the case. And you're going to be able to bring it to the range, throw it in your range bag, ruggedized, ready to go. Some really okay. cool parts and accessories Are, inside of there. I have a question. Are yep. there different poundage torque limiters in here there are there are five look at that there are I know, five i know all the right questions to ask there are five so let's reveal this yep all right we're going to get it to, with this camera over here we're going to get the big reveal it, look how nicely that yeah. fits in hey, let's put the wheeler logo on more yeah. on let's put the all right you know? different poundages. so we, yeah we have the different poundages that yeah. you guys can see on there so really easy and you've actually actually what's great about it is you've got all different size hexes and yep. you got I mean, and I love to build guns. So this is our one here for getting inside of a chassis, you know, getting yeah. down Remington 700. I need to get down in there to torque down those different bolts and different things. So you got the extensions in there. That's not even the coolest part. Coolest part is you can go and reverse with the torque limiter too, right? So there oh, are really? some, yeah, so there are ah, some other products ah. out there where you try and go and reverse with a torque limiter and everything breaks. Oh yeah. So um, these it. you can go and reverse, but they are also rated for impact drivers. So no you put kid. it in your tool. So you got to redo the kitchen. Yes. KJ's wife's complaining about the kitchen all the time. <laughs> Lock everything out because Done. sometimes you know people don't know this, but every screw when you guys go into Home Depot and you buy a whole bunch of screws or whole, yeah. every screw has a torque rating, every single one. So you've been over torquing your screws for years and years. And I years. guarantee you, I have. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I know how much torque you put on your screws. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's an ungodly <laughs> amount of torque. So, when are these going to be available? Because I think that's the number one thing yeah. folks are going to ask. When can I get them? Because it seems like right now we're dealing with supply and demand sure. like issues. You should be. They should be available on store shelves by the holidays. Could be a little bit after. Um, so that's what we're looking. But price point. What? Hundred bucks what? for the set. For the whole set. For the whole set. All that. M that's MSRP. Well, yeah. So you're gonna get it cheaper. You're gonna see them for under, well under that. But MSRP so like ninety nine ninety nine. Bucks maybe yeah. something like yeah. that in there. Yeah. That's like so, a so holiday season. These are gonna be there around that time. Yep. So if you're looking for a gift or something like that, or if you just want to be better at being a better husband and fixing things <laughs> and not breaking them and you're a gun builder yep. or you need a mount of scope for oh next my season. Gosh. Yeah. That's right that's in. your kit right there. See, this is the great thing about it is that you get a lot of that yep. in that. So when I came up, KJ said, well, so do, do you have them with you? And I was like, yeah, they're in my I backpack. I felt right like here. an idiot. Like I felt <laughs> like an idiot. And he, okay, I'm not going to lie to you. Ryan Donahue looked at me like I had a third eye grown out of my forehead. <laughs> like I go... Would you bring him? And he goes, "Oh yeah, here." And I like I did, didn't even know it. Do you so think I came unprepared for school? No. And we're you gonna go. All... We're gonna go next week into okay. Moab. 
Okay, that's going to be a cool trip, and we're going to have yep. some video come from that. Yep. Um, probably a lot of little tech tips on how to use these yep. fat sticks. Um, because what Wheeler is coming up, and, and one of the most exciting things I'm, I'm – most exciting things I'm looking forward to yeah. is seeing what Wheeler is doing going forward yeah. because this is you're get, this is kind of a sneak peek. Yeah. So if you so look new logo. At this, yep. If you look at this closely, you're going to see a new logo. You're mm -hmm. going to see some redesigns. You're going to see some updates on products yep. that are traditional products that you guys are going to yeah. have in hand um, coming, coming up soon. Yeah, all throughout the next year, you're going to see some stuff coming. And, yeah. Um, yeah, this is the first thing in the line. There's some really cool stuff on the roadmap. But we're going to Moab. Um, oh, my gosh. It's going to be unbelievable. So what better place to try out and build and do some different yeah. stuff with the Wheeler Tools? We're going out to Moab. Um, we've got Aeroprint. Precision with us. Yeah. We've got Ballistic Advantage with us. There's, there's Paul a lot Marady, of companies. Um, is coming out there. Well, and, and we're doing this all. We're going to, like, drive some cool Jeeps oh, yeah. on Cliffhanger. So <laughs> it's a big shout out to Cliffhanger Jeeps. Yes. I mean, super yeah. awesome. So go out to Moab. You guys are going to be building um, ARs and then building some pistols using some of the new tools. And yeah. then we're going to go drive some Jeeps and we're going to shoot some machine guns. And if you guys are lucky, if I can get my hands, oh, if yeah. I can swipe one of these, we'll give one away on our next live. Yeah, 100%. Hey, how about that? 100%. So I'm, I'm going to lock him in right here. We're going to give KJ's away from his case. <laughs> Done. I will I will sacrifice my my case for you guys. Yeah, there you Just go. Just you guys. So, But, Ryan, thank you for joining thank us, you. man. I really appreciate it, guys. Wheeler Fat Sticks. Uh, these aren't uh, your normal everyday tools. It's all a kit in one. You can take it wherever you want with you, and it's going to help you out home and away. Stay tuned for Moab. It's going to be big. That really makes me mad because I watched that video and, he, like, his hair is really on point. And my, that was at the end of the day. I, yeah. And mine looked horrible. Well, he's like <laughs> Ryan with his hair, though. It's like it's yeah. always – it you starts in the morning, it doesn't move all day. I'm That's jealous perfect. all the time of those guys. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, you're jealous of everybody all well, the time. Well, I am. It's like, man, <laughs> I got to put foundation and makeup on my hair just so I don't blind people sitting on camera. Uh, so. The fat sticks are really cool. I mean, they that's are. a great idea. Um, and, again, you guys comment. We're going to give a set of those away. Um, but, no, we had a conversation off air um, just now about OEM and what that means. Because we've yeah. thrown that word out of here or that that, that acronym. acronym a lot this yeah. week. And yeah. so give people an idea of what it is. So OEM is out, original out original equipment manufacturer and you hear it across all industries whether it's you know you're buying original oem auto parts or right. you know i'm talking to the oems of the firearms industry and it's just it's the guys who make the original equipment for the parts or the firearm right. that you're buying and building or whatever else and so um so when we talk about that we're talking about people like arrow we're talking about a caltech we're talking about yes. a crimson trace and those sort of things who you know whereas they build the original, and then all the stuff you bolt on or you swap out, yep. that's the accessory in the aftermarket world And from that standpoint. So when you're buying the whole piece, that's an original equipment piece. So when you're putting up, for example, now it gets tricky, right? Because when you take and put a pyramid air upper onto some other lower, it's like, right. well, that's an original equipment piece, but it's not original to the platform the, you build. Right. So when you're building your own AR, that's completely outside the OEM world, but you're buying right. original parts to make something different. But when you're buying a complete, you know, aero precision yeah. firearm, that's an OEM okay. product. All right. It's confusing a little bit, but that's what it is. It is what it is. All right. Well, um, it was a good show. Um, I think everybody's looking forward to shot. I, that's our next big one, right? So that's been a lot of talk here. Um, and it's no secret. Obviously SIG said they're not going to shot show. Right. Um, I mean, they made that release and announcement and whatever else, but, um, it's a lot of talk of, okay, there's them. There's a couple others that were not yeah. going as well. So, but there's a lot of people talking like the reshuffling is shot going to happen. I I still think it will. Um, what percentage do you give it? I'm, if you I, had to put a percentage on it, watching Vegas, I'd say I'm probably at seventy percent that it does happen. See, that's where I'm at. Seventy percent it does. Thirty percent it doesn't. Right. Um, but but what I'm hearing on the show floor and and for all you guys out here, new products are coming down the line. Yep. Um, it might you know it's. It, it's a changing business. Uh, it's a changing business world and how they do things now um, because 
what happens is is they just can't shut down to start producing new equipment right. and stuff like that. And we've yep. had those conversations this week yep. with a lot of manufacturers. Um, so new products are rolling out a little bit slower. That's where I was going to go. Is, yeah, typically SHOT Show is like the big to-do about getting new product out or just in front of or just behind of and it's going to be more of a rolling product. Right. And companies are getting and smarter about, like, we're just going to plan for a Q3 yeah. launch. And that's and it, it, for us consumers, the right. guy who's used these products and look forward to them coming out, right. that's great news because it's Christmas all year round. Right. Like, yeah. it's just not one time a year where everybody right. tries to gear up towards. It's just like, let's launch them. Yep. Let's just go. Yep. When they're ready, let's go. Yep, absolutely. And so that's, that's a big thing. and. I'm looking forward to Shot Show. I, I think it'll be. I think everybody here is. I yeah. So the vibe here was really good. Everyone is. It, I, I mentioned it earlier. It's like everyone's kind of giddy about being here, and yeah. and a number of people said it's like there's not a whole lot to talk about because there's some new product coming out, and it's not the same volume of new product, but there right. is new product. But they're just excited to be around and be face to face and talk oh, yeah. to other industry people in person, because as far as industry shows go, this is the first one since yep. Shot 2020. Yeah, and so it's. Oh, dang near, you know, what are we looking at, 22 months ago? Yeah. So there's just a lot of that going on, which I think for that reason, people are like, I mean, I'm, yeah. I want shot to happen because now that's just. We all want it to happen. That's this show on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if all of us want it to happen, but we really do want it to happen because yeah. we enjoy hanging out with our friends. Yeah. Um, a special shout out to the NASGW folks. Yes. Um, for allowing us to come up here on a platform and talk to all our great sponsors and talk to you know, people around the industry, we really appreciate uh, Kenyon and his team. Uh, you guys do a phenomenal job, and, and what you guys are doing here is, is very important to our industry and us as people uh, moving forward and just moving on with our lives as nothing had happened. And okay. we'll, we'll look forward to next year's show. Next year's show is Kansas in, City. Uh, I love that it's in Kansas City. Don't get me wrong, Columbus, I love you. Yes. I've been here a number of times. You're a good city. But Kansas City is only six hours from my house. Perfect. So it's a little quick drive. I know Kansas City well. And there's a lot. Yep. Of, and the thing about Kansas City that I do like is there are a lot of these companies in that central part yes. of the U.S. that are be that so yep. it makes it a lot easier. And it's an easy drive for you guys to get up oh, yeah. from. New it'll it'll be easy. It'll be fun. Uh, and in SGW 2022, we'll, we'll see you guys in Kansas City. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.